Welcome back guys, I trust you're fine. Now, Gabonese national team player Kuelo Kanga Kaku has made headlines in the last few hours. Reports suggest that Kaku has been dragged to CAF disciplinary committee to explain how his mother died in 1985 but he is recorded to have been born in 1990. Yes, you heard me right. His mother allegedly died in 1985 but he is also allegedly reported to have been born in 1990. <laughs> so he is under investigation for alleged age cheating and it has emerged that Kanka who claims to be 32 years old and born in 1990 actually lost his mom in 1985 which would then mean he should be 36 years old so it has thrown a lot of doubt around his age. Now, Guelo Kanga was exposed after the Congolese Football Federation, that's Fekufa, filed a complaint against Gabon for fielding a player who frauded his identity in a competition. Fekufa informed CAF that Guelo Kanga, whose current passport indicates he was born on September 1, 1990 in Oyem, is rather called Kiaku Kiaku Kiangana, who was born on October 5, 1985, in Kinshasa, DRC. They further claim that Kanga, a professional footballer who plays as an attacking midfielder for Red Star Belgrade, and the Gabon national team is originally from Congo. Fekofa also maintained that Res Belgrade Star or the Red Belgrade Star forged his identity when he moved to Gabon second division club GBI and in that case there was no way Guelo Kanga Kaku would have been born in 1990 if his mother died in 1985 and the analysis makes sense they also contended that the footballer's current age can be accepted only if there is evidence that his mother resurrected from her grave and gave birth to him in 1990 so if found guilty the CAF Disciplinary Committee could face or could result in banning Kanka Kaku for a number of years. Yeah, and not just him, the Gabonese national team could also be disqualified from participating in the African Cup of Nations tournament for two consecutive years. This is serious because then the Gabonese national team are not going to be scared, they are not going to be spared. Sorry because they would also be cited for aiding and abetting the forgery. CAF could charge them with forgery regarding the administrative documents presented by its player and non-compliance with the FIFA procedure when Guelo Kanga Kaku changed his sporting nationality from Congo to Gabon. Now, apparently, Kanga Kaku's incident is claimed to have occurred in 2021 but it has resurfaced in 2022, possibly due to the AFCON tournament underway in Cameroon. So it continues and we are waiting to see what the outcome would be. This is, <laughs> I don't know what to, to call it, but it's sort of amusing, but definitely really serious. And I'm hoping that they would put finality to it very soon because Gabon are still in the tournament and the player is still playing and I'm hoping that for the player's sake and Gabon's sake, I'm hoping it's more of an error or there's a reasonable explanation to this because other than that, it's going to be really embarrassing for him, his country and it could affect his international career as a player as well. Let's wait and see how this plays out. And I'll bring you the update as soon as it's ready. My country Ghana is unfortunately out of the tournament but the AFCON still continues. Stick and stay to this channel for all the updates on the AFCON matches. Subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications and share this video and the rest with your people in your circle. As always, you know it's impressive IQ, yours truly. I'm out. Peace.